We're really, really are great motherfuckers. And, oh, absolutely. And you motherfuckers, y'all are on the attack. Y'all are on the attack to take away what makes us men. That's what you have to do, Kathleen. Tell I am you. not on the attack. I, I think you're just wonderful but to you're, treat. But your your sister and whatever you fucking call it. My sister and is is wants to castrate you. Is that what you're saying? You know they do. Uh, Tell the truth. Don't be scared. Tell the I, truth. No. What do you think? I, I what do you think the problem is with with bitches right now? Like like women from like say 25 to 35. What's the biggest problem right now? Uh, God. I you know I really think that uh, like your thing with the uh, Brazilian women. Mm-hmm. I think that our uh, society there. It's not only puritanical in the the you know, oppressed, they're, those aren't the women you're going to meet. The ones that you're going to meet that are, it, it's just, I don't know. Our society... Uh, Do you see that? Even a, even a genius now. She's a genius. <laughs> Can't explain it. They don't fucking... I got it. I, I'll know. explain and it. And here's the great thing. Here's the great There's thing, There's a lot of self-hating women in our society. I think they're just trying to the test Brazilian you. A woman wants to be protected by her man, and if she can punk you up, how are you going to protect her against another man? Mm. Mm. She's always looking to upgrade the protection. Is that is That's that right. fair enough? To upgrade the protection, no. See, that, do you, you see? Know. She, she, she do you see now, ladies out there, listen to me about how you think. Now, Kathleen, she she has a low self esteem too, because we always call her a genius and stuff. She kind of goes, "I'm not one." She has yeah. that little self esteem thing. But this is the thing: women never have a plan B with their thinking. That's their fucking problem. Like she has, she has an opinion, but. The, the next thing that has to come out of her mouth is the reason for the opinion. Men, we fucking, we pontificate and we, we're we philosophical about anything. This is how men are. Men are like this. It's like we have these kind of conversations. Men can take any juvenile thing and turn it into some type of philosophical thing. Like we like, We'll go, hey, would you fuck a bitch if she didn't have a knee, right? Or would you fuck a bitch <laughs> if she was missing a nose? Now, I'm looking at fucking Sam right now when I say that. And the first thing a guy would do is take yeah. his two fingers and put it over his bottom lip. Think about lip it. Let me think about that. And rub him and go, you know, I, I don't. I think I would fuck I a bitch I without a nose. I would fuck a bitch without a nose. Women, you don't embrace hypothetical thought, and you don't embrace, you don't ever need to expand on what you feel. That's, That's why if a woman goes, I don't think, I would never uh, sleep with, I would never have a threesome. And you go, why not? Girls just go, here's their answer. <laughs> Because it's disgusting. It, it could be just but you understand? <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll the the thing is I think <laughs> <laughs> Alright bitch, get your seventeen thoughts okay, together. I, no. 